the air was thick and heavy, like a wet wool blanket suffocating him. He was surrounded by distorted images, flickering screens displaying grotesque animations. The smell of burnt circuits and stale coffee filled the air, a nauseating perfume that clung to his throat. This wasn't how it was supposed to be. This wasn't his dream. This was a nightmare. He had always loved art, the way it could transport you to another world, another reality. But somewhere along the way, his passion had turned into a prison. The multimedia arts course once a beacon of hope now felt like a suffocating cage, he felt like a cog in a machine, churning out lifeless animations and soulless designs. His heart ached for music for the freedom to express himself through melodies and rhythms, he longed to pour his soul into a song, to feel the music vibrate through his bones. But the fear of failure, of disappointing his parents, kept him chained to his desk forcing him to animate another frame, another meaningless pixel. Then he saw it, a monstrous shadow lurking at the edge of his vision. It writhed and pulsed a grotesque amalgamation of wires, screens and software. Its eyes, two glowing red orbs, burned into his soul reflecting his deepest fears and insecurities. The internship monster had awakened. The internship was supposed to be his ticket to success, a stepping stone to a bright future in the world of multimedia. But as the days turned into weeks, a creeping sense of dread began to consume him. The work was tedious and uninspiring, devoid of any artistic merit. He felt like a machine, churning out product after product, his creativity slowly being drained away. He tried to convince himself that it was just a phase, that things would get better. But deep down, he knew he was lying to himself. The passion, the spark that had once ignited his soul, was gone. He was lost in a labyrinth of pixels and code, desperately searching for an exit. His friends, once a source of joy and inspiration, now seemed distant, their laughter echoing hollowly in his ears. They were trapped in their own nightmares, their dreams slowly being devoured by the internship monster. He could see the life draining from their eyes replaced by a dull resignation. He knew he had to do something, anything to escape this nightmare. But the thought of confronting the monster, of facing his fears, filled him with a paralyzing terror. He was trapped, caught in a web of his own making, and the internship monster was slowly reeling him in. The monster wasn't a physical being, not exactly. It was an embodiment of the internship itself, of all the negative emotions it conjured. It fed on his misery, his unfulfilled potential, growing stronger with each passing day. He could feel its presence now, a suffocating weight pressing down on him. It whispered insidious doubts into his mind, amplifying his fears and insecurities. It reminded him of his failures, of his unfulfilled dreams, of the wasted years he had spent pursuing a path that was not his own. The screens around him flickered and sputtered, their once vibrant colors now distorted and grotesque. The animations he had poured his heart into were twisted into horrifying parodies, mocking his every effort. The air crackled with static, a tangible manifestation of the monster's growing power. He wanted to scream, to run, to escape the suffocating presence of the monster, but his limbs felt heavy, as if encased in concrete. He was paralyzed, frozen in place by a terror he had never known before. The internship monster had him in its grasp, and it had no intention of letting go. The monster's voice was a cacophony of static and screams, echoing through the recesses of his mind. It spoke of his impending doom, of the futility of his struggle, of the inevitable fate that awaited him. You will be consumed, it hissed, its words slithering like venomous snakes. Your dreams, your aspirations, your very essence, all will be mine. The monster reveled in his fear, drawing strength from his despair. It offered him a choice, a twisted ultimatum disguised as a lifeline. Shift or be devoured, it boomed, its voice resonating through his very core. Abandon your misguided path and embrace your true calling. Music is your salvation, your only hope for survival. The offer hung in the air, heavy with unspoken threats and ominous promises. It was a gamble, a desperate attempt to escape the clutches of the monster, but the alternative to remain trapped in this nightmare was unthinkable. He knew the monster was toying with him, offering a glimmer of hope only to snatch it away at the last moment. But what choice did he have? He was trapped, caught between the devil and the deep blue sea. He had to make a decision, and fast, before the monster devoured him whole. 